Hello, and welcome to the show. I am here today on The Crew 2, going to be playing some of the beta. Now, I could go and do various missions and various racing, but quite frankly, the most fun I have on The Crew is just randomly driving around the place. Our sort of session, if you like, is going to, if we head towards the map, it's a really, really cool map. I like them. I like the map. The crew's always had a really cool map, but uh, yeah. we are going to be starting over here by the kind of street racing HQ. We're going to first of all head off up towards Laguna Seca because I want to check out Laguna Seca. I want to see what it is uh, like. We are then going to uh, head towards perhaps do some. Uh, well, actually, we'll probably head towards the Freestyle HQ. We're basically going to drive across the country, visiting various different places along the way, off road HQ, and eventually we'll probably make our way to New York. There will inevitably be adventures and shenanigans along the way because, well, it's Foul Race. There's, there's going to be inevitably be adventures and shenanigans. Something will roll over, something will inevitably fall into a river somewhere. Uh, <laughs> but first of all, first of all, we are going to to take a trip to, to Laguna. Uh, now, there is... I'm quite impressed, actually, with the number of cars that uh, we have on... Well, that are going to be on this game. We're just heading towards this uh, HQ bit. Uh, do we actually have to drive all the way down into it? Okay, it doesn't just sort of uh, <laughs> allow us to enter straight away. Fair enough. Can I climb over that? I can. Uh, while, you know, in the beta you are given uh, whatever particular car it might be that, uh, that you choose, I A, like very much that we've got this sort of, rather than you know, just go through a menu. you kind of got like this little, little, that's not really a showroom, but a little parking lot. And each of the areas have this kind of thing that you can then flick through the cars. Uh, so, for example, drag cars. Now, of course, these aren't unlocked. Uh, but you've got, yeah, all sorts of vehicles. I quite like this as a, as, a way of, as a way of doing things. It's not quite up there with the, uh, with the Test Drive Unlimited uh, way of doing things. But, you know, it's, it's not too bad. And, I mean, there's all of your crazy hypercars that, uh, that you would expect. You've got your various drift vehicles if you want them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if any other vehicles are going to make their way into different categories, etc. That's got a pretty mighty wing. Cool. Uh, <laughs> let's just let's just admire the mighty wing on the back of the Ford GT. Yeah, decent decent car list on this one. Okay, it's not going to have seven eight hundred cars, uh, but on the whole, yeah, pretty impressive. And of course, you've got your boats and your planes and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a damn good looking game. It is a very good look. The first crew was a uh, pretty damn impressive game when it came to the uh, came to the looks department. Yeah, this one here really does not disappoint. Hello, bouncy, floaty, teleporting in open, oh, teleporting away truck. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a tighter corner than I was quite prepared for. And we've got the full-on sunset going. Can we go to? Oh, there's a first-person view somewhere. And, yeah, there we go. That's a horrible... Oh, look at, the, look at the sun. Let's try and get somewhere that's away. You're not driving directly. <laughs> Sunset, cut down. Of course, of course we would have the full Forza effect of lighting when we go and uh, start the... I think we're going to end up doing most of this bloody road trip at night. I don't know how long the uh, day-night cycle is, but there we go. Let's try and oh, weave our way through here. So... Handling physics are by far and away the most important thing that uh, I wanted to know about when it came to this came to this game. I um, why well, people I liked the, the first crew. Oh, shut up! I'm I'm uh, weaving through traffic. I think surprisingly heavy traffic. Shut up! I don't care, Matt person mechanic. I don't even know what your name is. I <laughs> paid that little attention to you. I just want to explore. Um, yeah. I liked the first crew. There were issues, no doubt about it. There were some some issues with it. On the whole, I had fun with the game. I liked the freedom. I liked the freedom that you could really just point the car at any bit of scenery and you could go and visit it, whatever it might have been. However, the handling left quite a lot to be desired. Certainly in the early days, the Nitro was basically pointless. It was just a wheel spin button for 99% of the cars and I didn't drive all that great. I am very pleased to say that so far from my time, I kind of did the uh, kind of opening race and did all visit all the HQ, so I kind of did bits and pieces of, of, of driving around. Oh, that's a turn that we need. Oh, missed the turning. Uh, 
so far, I'm liking the handling. So far, it seems to be pretty fun. The Nitro actually works on the cars. You know, they go flying forward. They don't wheel spin all of their power away, which is always helpful. And yeah, on the most part, they drive... That's not the most part. They drive... Over. They feel quite heavy. They feel quite... Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that's just perhaps the easiest way of ooh, explaining it. Again, I'm not driving the ultra high-end supercars and whatnot, but uh, perhaps, yeah, the front ends are a little... It takes a little bit of... Uh, what's I getting used to? Um, but... It's not a bad driving system. It's fairly arcadey from what I have been doing, which is, you know, to be expected. At the end of the opening race you do, you're driving a GT3 uh, RS and you're jumping across buildings and so on. If anything, the game's got a bit sillier. That's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of the whole premise of the game is you're in a uh, kind of big racing competition across the across the country and you are you're competing in all sorts of, of disciplines and, and you know it's that's that's fine if you want to go a little bit crazy with the streetcars doing jumping across the buildings it's it might it probably won't suit everybody this one but that's okay we've also come across a really cool little road here but there was no traffic down there <laughs> down this bit but uh, yeah it, it perhaps won't suit everybody however on the whole on the whole, I kind of like the idea, and yeah, the cars, the cars drive, drive very well. Uh, you will probably get away with most of your racing being a almost. It's not quite a full-on sort of tap brake to drift around corners. It's not quite that level of handling, although you can get away with that uh, sometimes. <laughs> this is a really good road we've just happened to stumble across. Really. <laughs> Really good fun road. Now, I've not planned at all, other than I, I know roughly the buildings and the bits that I want to go and have a visit with. Uh, I know roughly where, where that stuff is, and that's where we're... Yeah, kind of, kind of going to go set, the, uh, set the, the marker and go and find out what it's like. But I don't know what roads are along the way, and this is a really happy little coincidence. Again, I would perhaps like a slightly more technical... This is the first road I've come across. I had no idea whether we're going to have some proper technical roads. And, and to be fair, you know, the Mustang is one of the, like, the entry-level cars. Perhaps you would expect this to be, well, kind of closer to flat out through some of these. I hope there are some technical roads. Can't really say too much when you've only just started uh, started playing. Because, yeah, I mean, a lot of this is... Oh, well, there's a lot of, a lot of cornering. It's a lot of uh, mostly, mostly flat out. It's a uh, trap that a lot of open-world games have... have driving games have fallen into. Forza Horizon is pretty bad for it as well, with the whole... <laughs> there are there are high-end hypercars, so what that means is that everybody must have these roads that are very easy for high-end hypercars to go 150 down. And those roads are fun, however, you want a variety. You want some roads that are very technical, that you actually have to use a lot of brake, that maybe getting 60 miles an hour out of the car is tough going because you're constantly turning, constantly braking, so on and so forth. I could probably have taken a shortcut. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, driving, when you have options of planes and so on, driving, you, you drive to a location because you want to drive to a location, not because that's the only way to get there. A plane is always going to be quicker. You can go as the crow flies and so on. Uh, however, however, that was, a, I'm, I'm glad we didn't just take a plane to Laguna because that was a cool road. That was a, uh, was a very cool road. Oh, we're going to stay flat out through here. Yeah, we will probably have to oh, miss a corner because I, I was busy looking at uh, the road ahead and missed that turn. We've found... We have found Laguna now. How is this circuit going to look? In the first crew, while you did have a few uh, real-life circuits, Laguna, Sebring was there, and so on, they were fairly rough estimations. The corkscrew uh, quite entertainingly... Uh, flat. <laughs> now it is, of course, at the end of the day, really cool to have these as something in the game. Regardless, I'm curious to see whether we have got a similar sort of thing going on here. Uh, do I have any headlights at all? Do we have? Okay, we do have some headlights. Just when we're inside, it doesn't really feel like we've got some headlights. Oh, I mean that's that's a bit more hilly than I think the entirety of the last rendition of Laguna was. So there is some potential here, perhaps. 
again, you know, it's not going to be the most... It's not a game solely designed around uh, circuit racing this, so it's hardly going to be the, the most exquisite rendition of Laguna. It is still very, very wide. This is the widest rendition of Laguna I think I've ever seen. The corkscrew, though, are we going to... Oh, are we going to have a proper corkscrew? Well, this should be a big hill. I'm not holding... <laughs> I'm not holding out a huge amount of hope for the corkscrew so far. Is it going to be a pancaked corkscrew? And here we go. Come on. Please be good. Please be good. No, uh, it's... Uh, it's... It's a little bit closer. It's a little bit steeper. It's still... <laughs> still a relatively... A relatively flat version of the uh, of the corkscrew. Oh, and then there's a final corner that we kind of butchered. And there we have it. Oh, thankfully... Was that from my car? That sounded like a firework out there. Somebody's been shoving fireworks up the exhaust of my Mustang. Uh, <laughs> there is some quite... Hold on, if we go... Are we going to be able to make it go bang? I don't know, when, when you like, turn the engines on on some of these vehicles, one of the off-road buggies I had uh, made a massive, massive noise from the <laughs> from the backfire. So there's some quite impressive backfiring going on from the vehicles. Okay, so Laguna, a fun road across to Laguna, wasn't in the end... Oopsie, pressed the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> I say wasn't in the end. You know, it's, it's cool to have the circuit there, and as I said, you know, this is not a... Uh, not a game designed solely for circuit racing. I would have liked to have seen perhaps a little bit of a, a steeper uh, corkscrew, because, you know, that's kind of the well-known bit. But there we have it. Um, ooh, the Giants racetrack. Do we have... We have kind of gone not where I was planning on going, uh, <laughs> particularly, but there we have it. I mean, as per usual. Perhaps... Okay, here is the plan. Let's go to... Uh, we'll go to Las Vegas. We'll go through Las Vegas. Uh, we'll go to this boat, and then we will probably race... We can go across some water down towards the off-road HQ. That, to me, sounds like a pretty sensible way of doing things. So if we stick a marker over here... Uh, actually, you know, I took a marker down. I could teleport my way over, but, you know, there's the fun in that. We're supposed to be road tripping. So, I, I do like this map. I like being able to zoom in and having all the, sort of, the little bits of detail and whatnot. So, we can set a waypoint over here, and we are going to Christ. So, <laughs> that is, what, a third of the map, kind of, in terms of width? That is about a third of the map. We'll drive, perhaps, a little bit of the way. We might go and grab a plane for some of the journey. So, yeah, a third of the map, 26 miles. Yeah, okay, America is many, many hundreds of miles. <laughs> hundreds and... I don't know how many... Is it a couple thousand miles wide? Um, in this game, it's probably going to be... What, about 90? There's still a lot of... A lot of area. There's still a lot of area to be covering. And that's what the crew has has done well uh, in, in the past. Games like Fuel will technically have a bigger map. I've never been a massive lover of fuel. Uh, while, yes, the map is ridiculously large, I got very bored very quickly and never really played that much of it because it was just kind of like a big barren wasteland. And you can have a very large big barren wasteland, but that doesn't necessarily make it that fun. Can we shortcut up here? Uh, presuming we can. Indeed. Go on, Mustang. You can make it. Hey! Because <laughs> I'm lazy. Laziness... Laziness will, uh, in the end, win out. Uh, now, there are some walls around here that we don't want to be crashing into. But yeah, like, big big barren wastelands, no good. When you have, I mean, so far, this sort of forest that we're driving through, I'm perfectly happy to traverse across this sort of area. When you've got interesting roads, you've got exciting, interesting scenery, and the, cr the first crew game did a very, very good job of giving you... All sorts of different... Uh, ooh, where are we going? Uh, that's fine. Uh, all sorts of kind of different environments to, to drive through. So yeah, you know, the, however many hundreds of square miles this is, I am hoping, and so far, fairly, fairly impressed with, you know, interesting roads and interesting scenery. We'll have to wait and see how things how things progress, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> we've found some really wiggly bits uh, to have to contend with here. There's walls along the way, so we can't shortcut any of that. Now, one of my big concerns... I say one of my big concerns. One of the things I didn't really like about the original Crow, and it looks like is going to be a thing here again, 
is the way you upgraded cars. Now, it's nowhere near as bad as Need for Speed Payback. However, uh, the kind of card system I didn't much like. I much prefer having, you know, you go into a shop and you go and buy bits. You upgrade bits of your engine, you upgrade the tyres and brakes and so on and so forth with, you know, spending money to pick and choose the bits you want, not the random chance upgrade cards that give you a number improvement and little else. Unfortunately, from what I can tell, uh, if we go, I think if we go in here, if we go into performance, it looks like a very similar system. Now, I don't know when you, where, you, where you unlock these from, because I haven't been doing the events, I've just been driving around. Uh, however, it does look like there is, you know, you end up unlocking these in a similar manner. Now, to me, that seems like a little bit of a shame. It just doesn't seem like a... Whoa, hello, respawning in. Uh, <laughs> it seems like a little bit of a... I say I let that. Not really. I was kind of expecting it. It's just not a great way of doing upgrades. Now, the crew largely got away with it. I didn't mind it too much because at least it was pretty straightforward to unlock parts. Now, it did take a little while. You had to do a fair bit of kind of grinding to get vehicles up to the top of their class, but the game wasn't too stingy with its parts, unlike Payback that was pretty much a giant nightmare. Uh, <laughs> the crew wasn't too stingy. Now, I don't know how, how this one is going to, uh, to be with that sort of stuff. However, however, if it follows along a similar line, then... It won't be my favourite way of doing upgrades, but I can, you know, I can I can live with that. I'm presuming there'll be a body shop somewhere where you can customise the look of the car. You know, you've got to bear in mind we're still playing the beta here. Not everything is unlocked. We've gone from a forest to a kind of wide open plains area. I don't know my American geography, so... <laughs> I, we were we were in California. I don't really know where we are anymore. We're at 100. What could I cut in signs? Nope. We're just gonna. So I'm just gonna go for nitro. Go for nitro. 170 miles an hour in our in our Mustang. This is one of the three kind of street cars that you get in the beta. I don't know if you earn enough money if you can actually buy into the other cars. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how far you can get through. But uh, you have a choice of Mustang, Audi TT, or a Mazda MX-5. Naturally, oh, okay, we were going very quick, and now we're not going very quick. Naturally, of course, I am going to, we want to be having the Mustang. Uh, we're working our way. Are we climbing up a mountain here? We are climbing up, Oh. Is that... Oh, that's a cool bridge we're coming... <laughs> oh, we've got some interesting... Oh, this is a really, really cool... We've found, like, just accidentally on these roads... If, if this... If we continue to find these awesome roads and awesome forests and awesome kind of canyons we've got, I'm kind of tempted, actually, to go in the boat. Shall we go in the boat in that river? Now, you want to change vehicle? You can at any time. Can I remember how to do it? Not that. There we go. Yeah, you can at any time. You want to go play in a boat? I thought you teleported me to the water. When I got... Uh, when I did this on the boat, it teleported me. There we go. <laughs> okay, you can teleport the boat onto the land, apparently, but if you do it, if you're in a car... Well, when you're in a boat, you go into a car, you teleport onto... Never mind, you know what? Let's not ask Every too much. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to go through the canyon in the boat. Uh, there's all sorts of, you know, things to be doing along the way. You can do speeds, and you can do photos, and... Again, there's, there's there's stuff to stuff to have happen. Um, I'm just enjoying enjoying the drive. We're not a very quick boat, this one. Oh, there we go. Uh, we got a little bit more. Are we kind of going upstream? That might not be helping us. Uh, the first boat you drive is like a full-on uh, kind of high, it's like a Jaguar-powered thing. It does about 100 and something ridiculous miles an hour. Uh, this boat, not quite as quick. Uh, this boat, not quite as quick at all. Uh, you do also have to, so you hold back on the left stick. Uh, to kind of get a little bit of a, I say a little bit of a speed boost, you essentially get the front of the boat out of the water to uh, stop the, I guess, friction. I don't know much about I don't know much about boats or planes or bikes. I know some things about cars. That's about it. Uh, <laughs> the boat drive, okay. They they drive as you would as you would expect. My main. My main, I say criticism, my main slight disappointment with the boats is that there's not really much in terms of crashing about on the waves. I feel like half the fun of racing boats is you have got to fight with the terrain. You've got to fight with the 
well, surface. You know, the water is a moving thing. There are big waves, you crash about on them and so on. And with this, it's kind of mostly flat. It's kind of mostly pretty damn flat. And you don't really have the... Like, GTA V did water physics with a more degree... I say degree of accuracy, but there was more to worry about. There was more to deal with. And GTA V never made anything really of its boat racing full stop. And with this having racing boats, I was hoping for some more water physics to deal with. Apparently not. Uh, so, yeah. We've come across... Oh, we've come across a... The brakes are outstanding on this. Yeah, maybe going upstream. Oh, we do leave it. It will kind of go with the... Uh, <laughs> go with the stream. Uh, we come across a little camp. Apparently there's a photo of what bear. Uh, there's supposed to be a bear somewhere hiding around. Yeah, that's a little trip on the boats. Uh, we're going the wrong way uh, for now. So let's go and hopefully it's not going to spawn a plane in the ground. It should spawn the plane. There we go. Uh, <laughs> now we're in a plane. You know, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I do like the, the swapping between all the vehicles. And there is, you know, plenty of different aircraft. There's some classic, some classic planes for you to... Uh, for you to have the old, uh, the older Mustang, there's a, god, what is it called? The, I can't even remember the name of it, like a strange looking thing. Uh, it's kind of a really, really fat looking plane, really short. Somebody will know what I mean by that. Uh, <laughs> oh. I, I do like, I do like the, uh, I say the draw distance, I like being able to see, you can just see everything from up here. You can see, we're heading towards Las Vegas, you can see the beautiful road that we are not worrying about because we've got a stunt plane. I don't know if there are any I think everything in this is kind of aerobatics plane, so you're not going to get any crazy fast plane. Yes, your planes do have nitro. I guess theoretically you would just it would work the same in an aircraft. Um, sure, why not? Why why wouldn't it? As I said, the yeah, quickest way to travel probably not the most exciting because on well I mean there's just we can roll ugh, we can roll and then try and not clonk our way into some rocks. Uh, it's probably. <laughs> The best thing, catch the big plane! Catch, I don't know what happens if we bump into that, but I kind of want to try and find out. I don't, I think that big plane that is beeping? quicker than That's us. Your radar I... going off, which means there's a live okay, something, that there is, some... is the beeping the me are, getting too close to a plane? Is that, that it is? It. Yeah, there's something down there. I'm not sure getting an air, tr trying to go exploring to find an aircraft, or with an aircraft, to find rewards on the ground is particularly a safe idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there are... Uh, you know, like the wrecked cars and so on around the place. Uh, which are going to go fly really low for... Well, because why not, basically? Uh, <laughs> uh, planes are, are lovely things to fly. They're very... I say they're very straightforward to fly. It's just a nice, easy... It's not overly complicated. Whoa, bird! The bird got very close to camera and everything. Yeah, they're just a nice, straightforward thing to, to fly. They're yeah, easy to do silly stuff with. Uh, nice and controllable, and from what I've seen so far, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty entertaining. We're gonna go fly low through, uh, through Vegas, because why on earth not? Oh, can I fly through that? This is not gonna end well, because I'm a terrible pilot. Anybody who has ever, ever watched me GTA 5 will know I am a god awful pilot, so this is probably a bad idea. But I spotted a tunnel, so we're gonna fly a stunt plane through a tunnel. Christ, this is silly. Uh, <laughs> Right, okay, let's go. We've got to get it turned around. So we'll, show, we'll go for a, a, a long, I say a long, we'll go for a distance sweep around and then we'll try and figure out where the bloody hell I'm going. Uh, something beeping and blooping at me. Where was the, the tunnel bit? Is that around here somewhere? Uh, I guess it's going to be on the main bit. I don't know Vegas really. Uh, <laughs> I definitely saw like a big tunnel bit. Where's the big tunnel bit gone? Is it on this part? No, no, that's definitely not it either. Oh, crap. Where did the tunnel go? I was going to have fun and games and probably... Ah, there it is. Found the tunnel. Right. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Place your bets. Place your bets, folks, as to how far am I going to make it through before the game says nope and resets me into a car. I don't actually know what happens if you crash. Basically, I haven't crashed a plane yet, but that's mainly because I haven't been in a plane for any length of time. Uh, oh, I don't know if we're going to get even get into this. Oh, okay, go, go, go. Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. How the hell am I doing this? How the hell are we doing this? Oh, no, <laughs> I got it through and I couldn't get out the other side. 
<laughs> That's what happens, you just get reset. Oh, we got it through on I wasn't even sure if it was gonna fit in with the wings. I don't think it is. I think don't think the tunnel's wide enough for the plane to fit through, so we had to go knife the way through it, and I just couldn't quite hold it all the way to the end. I'm a fool. <laughs> oh I'm astounded at how well that went. Be impressed with how well I managed to not balls that one up entirely. I'm quite impressed with how well I managed to not balls that one up entirely. Hello, bus! Oh, okay, lampposts. We can bump out lampposts. Oh! That's more like my flying. I was be- Oh! Um... I've got a new game! With- You're coming with me, lamppost. Can we- Oh, if we just really carefully- I need to straighten out- Ha <laughs> ha! My lamppost now! No! Lamppost! Come back! Oh, bugger. I guess it probably got reset because I went far enough away that the game decided it wanted to respawn the lamppost. Oh, I was enjoying my lamppost. Wonder what other bits of debris we can take up. Pick up. Carry around with us just for good luck. I'm amazed my plane was okay with all of that. Oh! Didn't mean to quite go that far down. Uh, <laughs> I meant to dive a little bit because I was going to go skim the surface again. <laughs> it was kind of a face plant into the floor. Whoops! Whoopsie indeed, and then we have made our way to a boat racing area. Just about. I don't really quite know where we have made our way to, but there we have it. Uh okay, this is an interesting little bit, and I guess we're going to have to probably like bail out of the plane into a boat. And I'm hoping the game will just sort of set us down. If we go, bolt please. Oh, oh, okay, it's fine. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't quite ready for that. I probably should have been, seeing as the boat got teleported onto the land. However, <laughs> sudden plane to boat transition, and here we are. Here we are at a hopefully boat racing event. 